Hello and welcome to another episode of our EBMS Insider Series. This is a regular video series we do to demonstrate tips, tricks, highlight features, and provide other information to help you get the most out of your software. My name is Nathaniel Gingrich. I'm the COO of Eagle Business Software. The end of the year is fast approaching, and with it, the scramble most of our clients experience as they review and correct their financial statements for tax filing. In this episode, we'll be looking at tools EBMS has to manage inventory counts and values. The features we're looking at are available in EBMS 8.1 and later. The periodic method is the simplest of the two methods, and it's simply keeping track and calculating your inventory periodically throughout the year and adjusting the value on your books through a journal entry. The perpetual method is more complex, and EBMS does a lot of work on the back end to help you keep your inventory value current throughout the year. As you buy and as you sell, EBMS is adjusting your general ledger inventory asset account automatically. This providing you with up-to-date information, inventory value at any point within the year. In order to track inventory through the perpetual method, there's some configuration steps we need to go through in EBMS to prepare for that. First of all, we need to set under inventory options the perpetual method switch. Then we need to set up our inventory correctly with the appropriate classifications. Those inventory items that are set as track count or even serialized or lot tracking, and there's some others, will be the inventory items that are tracked through the perpetual method. If there's a certain segment of your inventory that you do not want to track perpetually, you can set those up as no count, and that will completely separate it from the general ledger valuation. You also need to set up your chart of accounts correctly and have an inventory asset account that has a classification of inventory. This account will be configured and set up on your inventory items so that as you buy and as you sell, the inventory value of this account is adjusted automatically. For those items for which you are not tracking the value perpetually, you will need to set up another account. This account will have a classification of other inventory, and it will hold the valuation of those products that you are periodically calculating the value of and adjusting through a journal entry the value in this account. If you're tracking inventory perpetually, remember that any general ledger account with a classification of inventory is the sum total of all the items associated with it. Therefore, if you want to adjust the value within that account, you need to adjust the value of the inventory items themselves, not adjust this value through a journal entry. For the rest of this insider, we're going to take a deep dive into using the Adjust Counts utility. This utility is available in EBMS 8.1 and later, and is a great tool for taking that end of year count, cyclic count, and adjusting your perpetual value. We're gonna go through these six steps, preparing for count, adding batches, loading items, then doing the count, and then finally reviewing and adjusting. The first step is rather simple, although it may take EBMS a while to do this calculation. After going to Inventory, Adjust Counts, this dialog will appear. And on the bottom left is the Prepare for Count button. Choosing it will take a snapshot of what EBMS thinks is on hand currently. This should be done just prior to going out and physically taking inventory and counting what's out on the shelf. Before we send folks out into the warehouse or into the store to count the inventory, 
we need to create a list of the products that need to be counted. You'll likely want to create a list for each individual person, and you may split it out by location or warehouse or certain area within your facility. This batch will be where the inventory on hand is displayed and where we'll load the actual counted number or quantity and from there review and adjust. After the batch is created, we want to load the list of items to be counted. The loading of items can happen multiple ways. First of all, we can import from inventory and you can choose a certain category, bring those all in, or a certain location, start and end location. We can also import that from a CSV. And so you could export your inventory out into Excel, modify and determine what you want to count, and also import that into this batch. Remember, only track count items can be adjusted. And don't forget about the inactive inventory as it may also have value on your books. Since one of the primary purposes of tracking inventory is because of the inventory valuation, I like to go to this report, the inventory value report. Pull everything that has a value, whether it's inactive or not, export that list to a CSV, and then import it into a batch. This way I know that I've captured everything that is affecting my inventory asset account. Once I have that list imported into the batch, I like to use the zero all quantities feature. Here we see the batch, we see the list of items, we see the prep count quantity, that snapshot of what EBMS thinks is on hand. And then we have the quantity column where I am going to record what I have physically counted. But by setting that to zero, if I don't have it out on the store, it's going to adjust it to zero at the end when we do our adjustment. So this is a great step in ensuring that all inventory with value is, is adjusted correctly. Now that you know what inventory needs to be adjusted and counted, there's a couple of ways in which to do so. I like to use the inventory count report. This can be printed out and given to the workers who will go out into the store so that they can record what they find on hand. You could also export this report into Excel and use a digital version and go down through and type in the quantity that is being counted. And from there, you can use the import from CSV feature to bring it into the batch to assign the correct counts. The batch dialog also supports scanning. So if you have a scanner attached to a laptop and that laptop is logged in to a server through a remote desktop connection, you could roll through your warehouse and scan the products that are on the shelf. This then populating the quantity that is on hand and very efficiently and quickly allowing you to take inventory. Now that you've loaded all the inventory and the quantities, you've counted it, now comes the time to review it. Within each batch, you can go through and review the cost. Make sure before you do the adjustment that you're adjusting the value you wish to. You can take your time in doing this. Remember, you took a snapshot before you started counting your inventory. Business can go on as usual. You can buy and you can sell. Now that you've taken the snapshot and you've counted what's on hand, EBMS knows what to compare to and how, to, how many items to adjust in or out of the system. So if you need to, you can take a few days to review before you go to the next step of adjusting. If you have multiple batches in which inventory has been counted, 
you may wish to review them collectively. And you can do so by choosing the Review button at the bottom of the Adjust Counts dialog. This gives you a summary of all the inventory batches by product that mount on hand versus what you counted, the difference, the valuation adjustment. You can drill into the details so you can see which batch these numbers are coming from. And if you wish to review more deeply, remember that anywhere in EBMS there is a list. You can right click on that list and export it out to a CSV and review it in Excel. And now the big moment, adjusting the inventory valuation in the chart of accounts and the count of what's on hand. I want to go through a little scenario of how taking inventory at the end of the year may play out. So let's step back. January 2nd, you took a snapshot of what EBMS thinks should be on hand. Then you went out on January 2nd and you counted, took a physical inventory and recorded what you have on hand and imported that back into EBMS, into that batch. You took a week or two to review and today is January 15th and you're satisfied with how everything looks and so you're ready to do this adjustment. You want this adjustment to happen back as of 1231. And so even though EBMS says uh, six on hand currently, and when it took the snapshot, it took a snapshot saying there's 10, and when you counted there were nine, EBMS is gonna look at that 10 and that nine, and it's going to reduce your inventory by one. And so what you'll see on your books as of January 15th is five because it reduces that count back as of 1231 by one, which affects your current inventory. And we can assume that your inventory is now correct. It may take EBMS a while to calculate and adjust the inventory. Once it's done, I like to look at this report and review what EBMS did. The inventory adjustment report can be run for a range of dates, if you wish, and you're able to pull the valuation of what was adjusted, both count and dollars, for that date range. And then, as a final wrap-up to taking your inventory, adjusting the value, remember that you'll need to go into those inventory items classified as serialized or if you're doing lot tracking and you'll need to manually adjust them item by item and go to the count tab of each and to adjustments or adjust out or in serialized items however it may be to get accurate inventory valuation for those particular items well there you are that's the annual marathon going through your inventory and making sure it's accurate, at least for a little bit. It's one of the big challenges that business owners have and we all face, but it's important at all levels of a company, whether it's in production or the salesperson out at the counter, whether it's the controller, try to make sure the books are good, or the tax accountant preparing for filing. Your inventory count, your inventory value has a big impact on your daily operations and keeping it accurate is very important. EBMS is here to help you do that. Use the tools that are available and make sure that your workflow, your inventory flow is accurate from purchase to sale. Thank you for watching. Visit our YouTube channel give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to us and be sure to check back next month for another EBMS Insider episode.